Welcome back, Mentees. The Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today's reviews in a flash. I'm accompanied by my lovely daughter. What's your name? Lydia. Lydia. That's right. Now, she's joined me before for a comic book review. But today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Osani Studios, um, they published this book called The Rabbit Princess. This is called The Path. And they uh, sent her a review copy of it. So Lydia is going to quickly tell you about the book as I ask her questions. Okay, so basically... I haven't asked you anything yet. I aggravate my entire family. All right, no, I'm just kidding, sweetie. What do you, go ahead, what do you want to talk about? Anyway, basically it's about um, this princess and her brother, which is a prince, and it's supposed to be after their father dies, he's going to become the emperor of this land. And she's kind of like a spoiled brat. She's rude to everybody. She's like, eh, me, yeah. Like. She's uh, a rabbit? No, she's not a rabbit. But it's called a rabbit princess. So she's a human being? Mm hmm. At first? Uh huh. Okay. And basically, then, um, and she thinks that she has to get all the glory and all the praise. If somebody makes a mistake, they should die because of it. Um, because wow. one time, like, the chef that she had, they didn't have the material to make the cake. And it's not even a special cake. Like, she eats it, like, literally every single day for lunch. And then she just, oh, throw her in a dungeon. She disobeyed orders. And um, so then at one point, they go into the town. And then they, one of the people there, like, they throw out gifts for them. And then she's like, ugh, they're so stupid. Corn, ugh, I hate it. So how does this princess end up becoming a rabbit princess? I'm getting to the she, part. She's getting to the part. And, and then they come across this house that doesn't come out. Like, nobody comes outside. And then they finally come outside. And then she throws the little boy that's probably like about five into the dungeon. Mm -hmm. A couple of days after that, the town, like the village, starts attacking. And they had to hide, but they ac accidentally got captured. And basically, they had to watch their father getting killed and also their, um... So her mom passed away. Yeah, and she... um, her mom passed away. So that's why she's not there when her father's getting killed, just to wipe that out. And, um, so they decided since, like, you know, they're kids, and they haven't affected all of it except for the princess, but not the prince, because, like, he didn't really do anything. The princess threw the boy in the dungeon, which angered the empress... She was, I guess you should call her, like, ex-empress, because she used to be empress, but now she isn't. And, um, she curses them, like, she turns, um, the princess into a, a humanoid rabbit, and turns the prince into an actual-looking rabbit, not like, oh, I'm standing on my two feet. Her brother's a rabbit? Yeah. And she's a anthropomorphic yeah. rabbit, like Usagi Yojimbo. Yeah. Huh. And basically, they go out into the woods, and they're trying to find shelter, and then that's when they meet Naso, and um, she helps them, and she brings them into like this little kind of animal settlement. It's not like really- Like a sanctuary? Like, yeah, it's, it's not like really like, you know, a town, but um, it's where like animals live, and then that's where- what goes on? Okay, yeah, we won't get into spoilers. So I have a couple questions. Can she talk to animals? Yeah. Can she talk to humans as a rabbit princess? She, she never talks to humans as a rabbit princess, so mm. I don't know. Uh, can Is there any other anthropomorphic animals besides her? No. Okay, so she is alone. Now, this one's called The Path. Um, is there going? Is it set up for a sequel? Or I think is so. the story done? You it, don't, without giving away what happens at the end, does it read like there might be more? Yes. Okay. Now, this one, this book is written by R. Chen. There is a couple of pieces of art in here that he himself has done. So he is also the artist, which we could show a little bit of that. And now, the cover and back cover are drawn by Ed Chen. And the inside artwork is drawn by R. Chen, as Lydia was talking about. So it's quick little sketch art like that. It's just a little black and white artwork. It really reminds me of Redwall. When I was a kid, I used to love reading that series. And yeah, there's not very much of it, and it's all black and white. They look like 
quick little sketches, but they're in here. And Ed Chan is the person who did the back picture and the front picture. Who? What, what was his name? Ed Chan. Ed Chan? Mm -hmm. So maybe Our brother John, or father. What would you give this book? I gave it a four out of five. Four out of five. Okay. And you would be willing to read more? Yeah. Okay. Again, this is a book book. I know crazy because I only read books with pictures, right? But my wonderful daughter reads quick. So thank you very much to Osani Studios for sending her a copy of this book, which she really enjoyed. Uh, and thank you all very much. And, you know, throw some comments down below. Let us know what kind of books you all like to read for young adults. So would you? who would you recommend this to? That, that is a good Young adults. So you're 10 years old, so what age is? Seven? Like your sister? No, like 10 to 15. 10 to 15, so I can't read it. Well, you can read it. I can read it? Well, maybe like just like the interest that might show interest in it. Like sure, when you're older, you could read it. Maybe I show... love young adult books still. Yeah, like, but still love the Red Wall like, series. You know, like, oh, maybe like, you know, it's more for 10 to 15 year olds because, um, how it acts and plays, there are some pretty messed up parts. Graphic parts? Yeah, and I don't think children, like, you know, five, to like, toddlers should be like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe. Well, we will be doing more reviews in a flash. My daughter wants to start reading the TMNT IDW books. She is currently reading Transformers, so... Um, and I know she, her and Maddie have a Mira book they're going to review. So Daddy yeah. said for someone like, oh, yay, we're going to do it today. Oh, sorry, we can't do it. We're going to do it today. Hey, oh, hey, no, we can't do it. Here. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. What are you doing, kid? Quit embarrassing me. So thank you very much for joining us. This has been the Uncanny Omar, and this is my Lydia. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint. Again, thank you, Osani Studios. Hit that like button.